So in my previous video, I said that True Bones was distributing Mixamo content through his Sketchpad, Fab, and through his 500free.r file on his website. Well, I actually misspoke. It wasn't Mixamo Fuse characters, or Adobe Fuse characters, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was actually Autodesk characters. We can see the character right here with this skull hoodie and um, like bowl cut haircut. Now if we go to the character creator, we can see that same bowl cut haircut and we can see that hoodie. Now if we go to the legal notices, the, the digital distribution web services terms of service, which the Autodesk character generator is under, it says that Autodesk grants you rights to use Autodesk content made available for you for use with the service. It's subject and condition to your compliance with these terms. Autodesk hereby grants you, under Autodesk's intellectual property rights, in and to the Autodesk content that makes available to you through the service for use in your application. For use in your application. Note that little bit. A limited, non-returnable, non-transferable, non-assignable, non-sublicensable, and non-exclusive license during the sub service term to reproduce, publicly perform, publicly display, prepare derivative works, and distribute portions of such Autodesk content solely within the application, within your application. Now that last part is key. For use within your application and solely within your application. By providing download links to Autodesk character generated characters, um, you're breaking the terms of service that you've agreed to on the digital distribution web services by Autodesk. Now, we can even go further into this. If we go into the legal notices, and we can see that this is the legal notices and trademarks of Autodesk. And you have to read these terms carefully before using any site of Autodesk. By accessing any part of the site, you agree to be bound by these terms. If you do not agree to the terms, you cannot use the site. Therefore, when we go down here to the rules of conduct, it says that you agree that you will not, and it posts a bunch of shit that you can't do. And then right here, the second to the last um, bulletin point. Create a database by systematically downloading and storing all or any site content. Bingo! What is on that 500 free RAR? Several characters through the Autodesk character generator that were downloaded, systematically packaged up in a zipped format and uploaded to Truebone's site and is allowing people to download those characters for free, which is illegal and against the terms of service and terms of use. 